and welcome to the finals of the StarCityGames.com Dallas Open Weekend, part of Season 2 of the 2018 SCG Tour, brought to you by our friends over at Twitch and Ultimate Guard. Ian Thorne and Peter Holman will shake hands for our final match of the weekend as we're going to crown ourselves a champion when it's all said and done here. Dredge versus Four Color Death Shadow here in the finals. It's an inquisition of Kozla to get things started here, and well, pick a dredge card. Fail to find, fail yeah. to find. Yeah. <laughs> not, I, I'm actually not a fan in that spot of getting rid of the thug because he's just going to dredge for sure. So might as well be for the for the minimum amount. Yeah, yeah. Plus, it's put some more lands in the graveyard for for loan to be a little bit better. I mean, it's small stuff, but. Yeah, an additional card does matter. Right, yeah, yeah, it's just not a lot to be gained either way, but. Dredgen, Golgari, Thug. Four cards, here we go. Stomping Ground, Wooded Foothills, Bloodgast, Cathartic Reunion. That's what we're talking about, about a mulligan to four. You get a functional hand. It's not like the cards in your hand matter all that much. Yeah, so Bloodgast is going to come back. Lum's going to bring back a couple of lands, all three here, it looks like. And now it's like who mulliganed it all. We'll go to Peter Holman. Well, the issue now is that he's got to be able to keep. You would like to dredge into something a little bit bigger and keep that going. Of Loam's, course. Loam's a slow way to do it, but still, for four cards, Thorn is in good shape. Looks like Holman with the bobble, and now he's going to get himself a water degree. It's a goif time. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. It's a back. Bring it on, blood gas. It's so big. Yeah. And dredge a couple here, Will, Will Ian. I think he's got enough to conflagrate this thing out of the way. I believe. Just want to make sure that you don't like add any. Oh yeah, I, I, lo I love this. <laughs> make it a little easier on the conflict rate. If he is going to conflict rate it out of the way, because I'm not sure he needs to. I mean, I don't know what else you're. What are you doing with this? It's at 13. You're trying to burn him out from here. Just keep the ball rolling. Go off the battlefield. I don't know. Just confirming now, did any new car types enter the graveyard? <laughs> nope. Down goes the Goyf. Let's go back over to Holman, who right now appears to be without a threat. Well, never mind. Tarma Goyf, so big! <laughs> <laughs> what are you supposed to do about this thing? Stopper Ground's going to the battlefield untapped. He's going to want to leave that stubborn denial up. There's the Goyf. And is it actually Okay, well, there's two threats. Well... The, hey, this is a way to this do is, it. This is a strategy that people have not been employing against Dredge very much this weekend. Just play with creatures that are kind of big. Yeah. <laughs> it's really true. Yeah, yeah. Dredge doesn't block well. They don't block well, and they can't do much of their blood gas if you're doing if you're playing with creatures that are big. Doesn't have to be the fanciest anti graveyard thing. No. Just play with Tarmogoyfs and have a presence on the battlefield. Ian Thorne gonna dredge life from the loam. Actually cast life from the loam, pardon me. Just has three lands in hand. No real attack to be had here. The Death Shadow isn't particularly big. It's just a uh, just a two two right now. But if that blood gas attacks, I think Peter Holmans go says, I'll take it. So blood glasses blood blood gas, pardon me, is in a very uh, very weird space right now. Gore Clan Rampagers the leftovers? Are you kidding me? Yeah. What's your plan about that? Can't say I have one. Stubborn Denial is going to be good here. There's a Black Leaf Plitz. Let's head back over to Peter Holman. He's going to quickly untap and draw. Tarfire! Oh, my goodness. 
<laughs> so many card types. <laughs> Tar fire yourself upstairs. Me. Oh yeah. Me. <laughs> so much pumping. Yes, he targeted himself. I love it. Me. Right in my grill. He's got the rampager for next turn with stubborn denial back up. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Alright, here it comes. You ready? He's gonna he's going to dredge three creeping chills. Right now. Here it comes. Stink weed up. That's a blood gas. Running out of time. Nope. That's not gonna happen this time. There's one creeping chill. Do you play it? I think you have yes. to. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's twelve to six. You cast a stinkweed dip thinking that you can block. Yeah. And then the rampager <laughs> <laughs> runs right over. It's like it's not even there. <laughs> what a deck. I'm so happy to watch this again. It could have actually gotten really bad. Well, there, so there was a dredge there that could kill Oh, Holman. definitely. Yes. Yeah. It yes. could have gotten bad. Like if, if a creeping chill and two blood gas show up or two creeping chills or something, like it could have gotten bad. Yeah. Yeah, I guess there's a question there. Are you supposed to tar fire yourself or just wait a turn? Or are you supposed to just tar fire them? Also an option, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. I mean, they're 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 not very likely dredges, but Holman's spot was not 100%. Yeah, that could have gotten bad, folks. Yeah, this is tough because that one <laughs> that one darn rampager is what's going to win <laughs> Holman this game. There's old Stinkerino. Show you the Rampager on the Death Shadow. Kill you real good. Peter Holman going to win game number one here over Ian Thorne. Four-color Death Shadow. That's the second time we've seen that Rampager be a game winner. Up a game here over Dredge. You see Ian want to take a look at the Rampager. Plus four, plus four, and trample. 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 Beautiful. Take, take a look at the sideboards here. Let's start with Ian Thorne, shall we? He's got four Leyline of the Vorth. Three, four, excuse me, four Leyline of the Void, three Collected Brutality, three Nature's Claim, two Assassin's Trophy, an Ancient Grudge of Dark Blast, and let me ask you a question. Like the Lightning Axe, the Assassin's Trophies, and the Leylines of the Void. Simple stuff. Graveyard really matters here. Leylines are great. A little bit of more creature removal to handle the creatures. Well, you made it simple, that's for sure. Let's go to the other side of things for Peter Holman. Two Liliana of the Last Hope, two Fulminator Mage, two Collected Brutality, two Assassin's Trophy, two Fatal Push, two Surgical Extractions obviously coming in. That Languish, that Ooze, and that Revoker. Love the Liliana of the Last Hopes. Uh, the Scavenging Ooze is great here, and the two copies of Surgical Extraction. Good options for both players. Good options, yep. So... We're going to see them cyborg and get ready. But while they do that, we are going to prepare to let you learn a little bit more about Ultimate Guard's newest anti-theft backpack, the Ammonite. Available in February, go to starcitygames.com slash ultimate guard to learn more about all of Ultimate Guard's finest products as we get ready here for game number two. Do keep in mind, next weekend, SCD Tour heads to Charlotte. Mm -hmm. Matthias Hunt, Ryan Overturf, Nick Miller, the rest of the SCD Tour crew will be bringing you that show. That'll be a nice one. And then soon enough, soon enough, Vegas. Vegas, baby. I'm pumped. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good show. I'm going a day early and staying a day late. Do we have a venue? Well, yes. You're asking. Oh, like announced. Like an announced. Do yeah. we know where it is? You're, you're just asking me what venue. You're asking me what venue it is. Sure. I, I where are we going back to the same spot we've had them before or somewhere different? I can I can take a look. Cuz I don't know off the top of my head. Let's see. We used to go to an awesome hotel venue. Yeah, that, that kind of weird spot with the... Yeah. I like that because the hotel yeah. was like right attached to the convention. Yeah, yeah that was easy. I just walked downstairs. It's a little bit small, though, and I have a suspicion this event is going to be large. I'm inclined to agree with you. But... I'm really good at navigating our schedule page. 
Yeah, maybe put the venue like a little closer the to the top. The Westgate Las Vegas Casino and Resort. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I like that we're just we're just leaning in and having all these events at casinos. You now. wanted to lean in. Let's lean in. Go to Philadelphia. Go to right a casino. in a casino. Right. right in a casino. Ladies and gentlemen, the Westgate. See you there. Hmm. I can't wait. All right, so apparently I've been told that we have a Photoshop surprise. This is dangerous for live television. Yeah, but it's important to trust your producer. Okay. So. Yep, someone's job is on the line here. It's not mine. Go ahead. <laughs> 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 I, all right. A small, <laughs> that's really good. That's really good. My preference would be for Brutus to have been tied to the track. Oh, yes. But that's, yes. Still, that's still great. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the Ohio State University being run over by the choo-choo train. There it is. Uh, there it is. That's a great shot. Oh, that's tough. That's tough, Buckeye fans. Yeah. Whew. And I... I, I Bruce's face should have been less happy. And yeah. been <laughs> That's okay. A single tear, perhaps? I don't know. One loss to us, one loss to Nick Saban. Just another season for the Ohio yeah. State Buckeyes. Yeah. One more round of suspensions. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. Someone get that director a raise. Yeah. If only the Browns had won today, too. It would be a perfect day. Oof. Looks like Peter Pin might be Peter <laughs> might be <laughs> Choo Choo Peter on a mulligan at six. It's been a good weekend for yeah. you. <laughs> Not bad. Not a bad weekend really. All sorts of wins in the sports area. If only Bant Spirits would have won the tournament. But that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. Can't get everything. Uh That was a beatdown. It's fun watching that with you. Yeah, that was a beatdown. Dredge might be the best deck here, folks. Or perhaps it is four color Death Shadow. I mean, Tarmogoyfs look good. Yeah, oh, it's I'll say it's that. It is good against Dredge. Yeah, I'll say that. It's just hard for them to kill, hard for them to attack through. It's weird to sing the praises of Tarmogoyf, a clearly very good magic card. Yeah, long time staple of all sorts of eternal formats, but uh, something that I'm uh, noticing here against Dredge, I think it's really important to be able to be fluid with being able to play offense and defense and pivot back and forth between those roles, of uh, being able to block and turn around and kill in one turn or apply pressure and then hang back for a turn or two while something else finishes off the game. And Tarmogoyf, that's what it's made for, basically. Yeah, that's a really good point. <laughs> it's just so strange to be so happy that Tarmogoyf is good. It's like, of course it's good to Tarmogoyf. But it was pretty bad for a while there because all those fatal pushes that were running mm -hmm. around. Looks like Holman has a copy of Surgical Extraction in hand already. We'll see how good that is for him in this game. We've seen instances of Surgical be very good against Dredge, other instances of it being bordering on irrelevant. Yep. And then be able to power right through it. Well, I think a lot of it is going to come down to how much, you know, do you care, how many different things you need to remove. I think Holman's deck can, can really narrow down the game to be about just complicate or just threats, depending on what's going on. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Surgical can be great. Oh, here's a Shriek Corner activation. Conflagrate and... Let's say Mario go to the graveyard, so no dredgers just yet. As Ian will draw. Looks like he picked up a copy of Assassin's Trophy. That one might be good a little bit later on. Looting, perhaps? Nope, another Shriekhorn. This might not resolve, actually. Maybe a Stubborn Denial? Uh, I don't know how much better it's getting. If 
especially with conflagate uh, with the surgical you can always tag the conflagate if it gets to that point yeah I was hoping Holman would have one of his sideboarded Phyrexian revokers. Bang! <laughs> Here is Faithless Looting. Maybe the. Maybe the Shriekhorn was a bait spell. Time to draw two and discard two here for Ian Thorne. But really slow moving so far here from Thorne. Classic end step surgical. You, you can untap. You know this is just a little. You can untap and you draw. Can, you can untap and draw and see what's going on. Yeah. There's no no rush, and and something might actually change where you don't want to do that. Right. Looks like two assassins trophies in hand. But good news here for for Holman here with no way to dredge on the other side of the table. Not yet. Old Shriekhorn could change that, though. Looks like only two thugs, huh? Yep, two in the main deck. That's it. Well, you see the hand there, all those assassin trophies. So for Ian, he'll actually be able to handle the first couple of threats, it appears. Yep. Which is good news for him because his deck is not dredging particularly well. Street Wraith will be cycled here by Peter Holman. Going to fall down to 13. See if Peter wants to get here and land wise with this mire. It's an overground tomb. Shadow's time? Traverse, actually. We got artifact, instant, land, creature. creature with the street wraith. So delirium. And a shadow. Alright, time to get busy. Let's go back over to Thorn. Big Shriek Horn coming here. Thorn's got to hit something to get the ball rolling. Hey, yes, he does. Yes, he does. Because his, his hand as composed right now is a dead end. Some removal spells, no dredger in the graveyard, and no hope of getting to a dredger. I suppose you can flash back the looting and try again, but we're not talking about a whole lot of cards. Blood guests, plural. That's not bad. It's not bad. Actually, I think that's quite good. They have haste. Yeah, I mean, you can play a land, Assassin's Trophy, the blockers back-to-back, -back, and you still have a Conflagrate in the graveyard. Is he not going to get the other one back? That's weird. I'm trying to think what would motivate that. Yeah, I don't love that. Unless he just missed it. I'm trying to think of what would the, what would be the thing that would cause you to do that. Yeah, I mean, the, his cards are so much more vulnerable in the graveyard than in play. Yeah. I think he may have just missed it, because now he's sacking the fetch. Yeah, I don't I don't buy that he would have gotten back one and not the other and yeah. just missed it. Okay, that's fair. If he knows he's fetching, maybe that's the... Figure out what land he wants? Yeah, because he can... Depending on if Creeping Chills are still in the deck, too. Like, we're getting to the point now where, even though he doesn't have a dredger... He, I think even something like a conflagrate is starting to work itself towards being lethal. Slowly but surely. I mean, certainly if he gets back to the blood gas and hits a six, has a way to kill a blocker next turn and goes to two, it's not hard to finish out the game from there. Mm hmm. Yep. Attack, put you down a six. Trigger the amalgam. Pass the turn back. Yes, he's in great shape now. At least it feels that way. Holman is going to concede the game, so there you go. It was, it didn't take dredge, actual dredge cards. Yeah. I was not thrilled with the surgical extraction. I just don't feel like it did anything. Uh, it's just he has, still has the Shriekhorn, mm -hmm. so he has a, 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 a roll of the dice to reassemble anyway. And he's 
the game's just probably going to go on for a pretty long time. And if that's what's happening, then I'd rather use the surgical extraction on one of his very few ways to win the game, one of his threat cards, or get rid of a, you know, complicate in a high leverage situation. There just felt like it didn't even really end up slowing him down at all. He wasn't even buying a turn. Well, these players are going to get ready for our third and final game here of the weekend. But before they do that, we got a quick message from our friends at Ultimate Guard with some brand new katana sleeves, everybody. One more game for it all. As again, Thorne was able to tie things up here against Peter Holman. Holman will be on the play this go around. And this should be fun to watch. I think in this kind of matchup, you need to be really precise about the surgical extractions. And I would not use it to sort of tag a random dredger if it looks like the game's going to go on for a bunch of turns. Yes. I think I'm right there with you on that. Interesting little matchup here. I'm really surprised that Four Color does Shadow, but at the same time, it's actually looked pretty impressive. Yep, it's been and and the little the little points of differentiation that matter. tarmogoy has been really good. The Rampage has been really good. Traverse has been good. I think we forget how good that card is. Traverse. Yeah, it's a very very good card. Tarfire's probably been pretty good there for Peter. He was much different than Grix's Death Shadow. That's for sure. Grixis Death Shadow to me, I, I feel like that deck is as good as Kolagon's Command is in, in the format. Yeah. If Kolagon's Command is awesome, I think that deck is awesome. If it's not, I feel like it's just merely okay, and I don't think we're in a Kolagon's Command format right now at all. Not great against Dredge. It's pretty slow against humans. They yeah, kind medium, of all medium to below average and against humans. What does Tron care? Right. It's non zero. I mean, again, it's just, it's just not great against any of those decks. Looks like Holman's going to take a mulligan. Nineteen years old is Ian Thorne from Red Rock, Texas. Looking to win and open at an early age. Has demonstrated, as we've mentioned multiple times, quite an affinity for this dredge deck. It's played very well. Yeah, it's been sharp. Looks like he is keeping his seven. Yep. See if Holman can keep six or not. Oof. Quickly going to five. Yeah. Keep in mind that Thorne has a breaker in the sideboard of Leyline of the Void. Didn't show up in game number two, but that's that card's all sorts of trouble for Death Shadow. It's going to shut off. What's it going to shut off there? Traverse. Tarmogoyf. Goyf. Some aspects of K-Command. Uh, Liliana gets a little bit worse. Yeah. Doesn't have a whole lot of ways to win a game once, once you, he doesn't have his graveyard. All right, he'll keep five. Mm, is there a ley line? Well, I think Holman is still debating. Okay. And well, 
good luck handshake. Yeah, you cannot good luck handshake and then in delay line. line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'm sorry, that's not true. Yeah, you can put the lay line into your hand and then extend the hand for the game through. Ooh, the hand. Ooh. And then they, you know, ooh. that's okay. That's okay. I mean, it's not okay. I'm just saying that's the. You want to do that sort of etiquette. It's not okay to do the handshake in good faith and then lay line. Two, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Okay, he's down to eleven. I mean, he could steal this game with yep. an early death shadow. Thought sees here will show you a hand with quite a few lands, a cathartic reunion, a stinkweed imp, a prized amalgam, and I think that's a blood gas. Great hand for a discard that's spell. That's a loam. It wasn't right. good in the, the previous game we saw, but this is a hand with one enabler, or I guess loam is enabler, but on the slow side. And then some some junk. Really good thought sees. Big draw step here for Ian. There are some real hitful hits there in Faithless Looting and Shriekhorn. And there are quite a few misses too, so this will be interesting. Holman will record the content, so we're going to head back over to Ian Thorne for his first play in game number three of the finals. Narcomy with the draw. <laughs> I oh. like the knock of the deck. And well, <laughs> here is Narcomy, but yeah, you got what you wanted, sort of. Yeah. Can't knock on the deck when you don't have spells with text. Bobble. Take a look. Does Holman have a th second land? Yes. And a Tarmogoyf. Yes. As we've mentioned before, is large. All right. We got a game. We do have a game. Players that have mulliganed to low amounts have played some real magic this weekend. There is the Goyf. It is so. It is a nice thing. I'm, I'm not being sarcastic here about the games being really short and extreme is that mulligans to five or four are not a death sentence. No, they're not. When we're just playing random games of, you know, just regular creatures and removal, you mulligan to five, you're just done. But here, because the games can be so wild, uh, people can recover from that sort of stuff. So we're going to take a look, figure out exactly what Cardi wants here. With this wooded foothills, looks like it's going to be stomping ground. Big draw step here for Ian. Could definitely use something like a Cathartic Reunion. Faith of Sluting. How about not an Arch Amoeba? All right, Blood Crypt. There are worse draws. Yeah, but it, this is going to be, a, I think this is going to be a pretty slow way to do it from Thorn here if he goes and uh, Loams and then next turn dredges for three. That's just not that fast. Yeah. And he's under some pressure now. Looking at a 4-5 Tarmogoyf. But the swings can be pretty wild in this spot, even with only a, 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 a dredge for three. Here is Surgical. So this is now a spot where I don't mind this because Holman is shrinking the length of the game. I still would prefer for him to untap. I want to untap and draw first. Yeah. I want to have as much information as possible when I'm making my decision with my Surgical Extraction. Classic end-of-turn wasteland. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I need some info first. Although even the end of turn wasteland is sometimes you don't want them to have mana on your turn. It yeah. Be, you know what I mean? This is just, just take your draw step, you know? There go the loams. So loam plus conflagrate is now off the table. Now this is Peter Holman's maybe biggest draw step of the tournament. He's got a land in hand, but if he were to draw like a Death Shadow or a Traverse here. Another Goyf. Yeah, there's Artifact, Creature, Instant, and Land in the Graveyard. So in this spot with Holman having dealt so much damage to himself, I'm more on board with the Surgical because one, the strength the length of the game here, and two, there's a lot of dredges here from Thorn between Blood Gas and Creeping Chill that are really dangerous. He can just get killed, so... There's the attack with the Tarmogoy for five. Didn't get a great look at what Holman drew. Again, we know he's got Bloodstained Mire. It's all the usuals plus artifact, I think. Did he draw Shadow? Nope. Just going to pass. All right. To Thorn. He needs a gooder. He drew another land in Copperline Gorge. Not exactly what the doctor ordered. I mean, you can just cast the Amalgam. You can cast the Narcomoeba. I yeah. like casting the Stinkweed Imp that I think he has in his hand. It's fine, too, yeah. 
If he's got a sync with him, then yeah, that's an easy cast. I think that's far and away the best of the bunch right now. Yeah, best blocker, and if Holman kills it, then you can actually start to do something. Yep. Stinkerino. Holman's going to go down. He'll get a stomping ground tapped, fall down to five. Really big draw step coming here. How do we do? Didn't get a great look. He's got a thought season hand right now. To go along with now a Verdant Catacombs, no attack. Over to Thorn. Another land there for Ian. So he is not improving his hand at all, really. But well, you play the Narc Amoeba and you start to race. I'm yeah. not. I am not kidding. I know. It's either the Amoeba or the Amalgam, and I think it might be the Amoeba. Well, the Amalgam doesn't change anything. It's just you can't attack on the ground next turn. Well, it makes it more likely. It makes it so that, like, Peter just really can't attack, I think. Well, no? he, well you, if that ha you still have the Narc Amoeba on defense if it comes to that. Okay. If he does something to sync with him, you chump block the same way if you want to. Okay. But this way you actually can start attacking next turn if that happens to show up. To go that way, you know. Let's go to Peter Holman. Can't cast thought sees. Can oh boy. Okay. Oh boy. We are a traverse away. <laughs> are we ever? We are one traverse away. Are we ever? That's an eight eight death shadow. That'd be a twelve twelve death shadow. And also there is a fetch land in hand to bring his life even lower. Oh boy. Ian's trying to decide if he wants to sacrifice the fetch land or not. But we are one traverse the Uvenwald away. Yeah, I, Thorin can always get a mountain if he wants to for the same amount of damage. And I think it's really dangerous to crack unnecessarily. Huh, Leyline of the Void. Not great. Ian's deck is not cooperating. Got to send in for a point here, I think. You think so? Cast the amalgam, send him for a point. How you cast that amalgam? A fair, a fair critique. Mm-hmm. Surgical extraction, the draw. Okay. There's a trade. Here comes the surgical. Bunch of lands and the prized amalgam. How do you feel about this play? I'm down with it. I think it was really important last turn to send with the Narc Amoeba. Get him down to four. This attack gets him down to three. You're drawing to Creeping Chill. Just for game, if it's still in your deck. That's a really good point. Call for great. Conflagrate's still lethal right now. Yeah, five versus four. If there are no creeping chills in the deck, then that's different. Then yep. that's you know, then hang back on defense. But but right now, conflagrate would just be cast for zero and then flashback for four. Yep, kill you. So yeah, Thorn still with nothing going on, and now is in a position. I guess I guess if you're going to do that. Uh, Maybe you're supposed to attack with both. I don't know how much better the Death Shadow is versus the Tarmogoyf here mm -hmm. when Thorn's just managing through chump blocking. And I would have liked to get a little bit more pressure going here. Because you know he's got the Amalgam. I guess not really castable here unless he draws very particular cards. But still, if he's managing through chump blocking, then the Death Shadow and the Tarmogoyf are the same card. And just send both. Looks like Ian's going to go down to 12.
about a Krypton stomping ground. Big draw. Trophy is really good. It's a great draw. That is really, really good. He's going to do it right now. Make sure it resolves. And that will resolve. Now is the time to get busy. I think now <laughs> is a good time to get busy. Huge top deck there for me in Thorn. He'll come across for one, going to knock Peter Holman down to four. Holman will get a basic swamp out of the deck, shuffle, present, all that jazz. And now he's got to draw a great card. And Thorne holding back as much as he can. Be able to flash back Conflagrate. Should that show up? It's a big draw step now for Peter Holman. I mean, it's got to be a threat card. Yes, it's it does. Running out of time. He's got quite a few of those, though. Creatures and Traverse. Liliana, the last hope would be a good one. Here okay. Too. Yep, that plays. That'll play. Back to Thorn. He'll draw. Can't knock twice. He's knocked every draw yeah. step, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> He's knocked every draw you, step. You used it up last turn. You knocked and drew an assassin's <laughs> trophy. You got you to give your deck a, a turn off. Well, what more do you want? What more do you want? Hey, I, I can tell you what more he wants. <laughs> There's a lot that he wants. <laughs> Can't deploy the ley line right now. It's also just not worth bending over backwards to do it. Oh, my. Oh. Yes. Yes. That is aggressive. Love it. Tapped. So that 13 uh, minus 3, that's a 10. Gives you a draw to blood gas for lethal if Holman's on nothing. What did he draw? What did, he drew traverse again. He drew traverse again. No way. But he doesn't. Oh, he can. So. No, he, uh, he can't. He can't get it. Yeah, he yeah he doesn't. His mana have, is too messed up. He needs uh, he needs G G R. Oh, that attack by Ian Thorne is so good. Puts him in range of, of creeping chill. Puts him in range weirdly of blood, blood gas. gas. Yep, that's a really smart attack by that kid. Now hold on. Can he thought sees himself? He can, th he can thought sees. He can just cast thought sees. And that's the. Does he not see it? Assume we got the light tolls, right? Yeah, you can get him down. He can just cast thought seas. Does yep. he see? Yeah. Thought sees you. And that's going to be one to zero. Wow, Peter Holman is going to win this game and match over Ian Thorne. Four color Death Shadow with a timely thought seas takes it down. And for Peter Holman with a deck we have not seen in a long time.